see the linearity of amplification. For that, again we have to use the zero degree single crystal and that is of the 2 or 2.5 megahertz. So, main our purpose is that we have to generate 4 to 5 eco minimum on this screen. So, for that we have to take range from 100 to 500. We can take any range. Here also we have taken the range 300 and we will place this probe at this location. So, here to here height is 60. So, in the previous case, we have got the required the 60, 120, 180, 240, 300. Like that here also, we will get the echo. So, first we will decrease the gain. Now here for the checking of the linearity of amplification, we have to see if we increase the gain, then height of this all echo will increase. And if we will decrease the gain, then height of the all echo will decrease. So as per theory, increasing or decreasing of this amplitude of the echo should be linear for the all echo. So, for that we have to check what is the ratio, what is the linearity in the amplification of this echo. For that we have to select any one echo as a n, then next echo will be the n plus 1 and for the linearity of amplification our formula is this linearity of amplification. H1 minus 2s2 divided by h1 into 100 where h1 is the height of the n plus 1 th echo previously and s2 will be the height of the n plus 1 echo after the reset of the gain. So, in this case we will say this one is the n. So, next equal will be the n plus 1. So, first we will make the height of the n echo about 90 or more than 90. At the same time, we will read the height of the n plus 1. That value will be the h1. Again, we will come to the previous n echo and we will reduce the height of the echo from half, whatever the height, it is reduced to the half. At the same time, we will shift the gate to the n plus 1 echo and that time we will read the height of the echo and that will be the s2. So as per theory, h1 minus 2s2 divided by h1 into 100, that will be the deviation in the y-axis, that is the linearity of amplification. So, we will check, now this is the n, so we will shift the gate on the nth echo. Now it is 52, first we will make it about 90 or more than 90. So, it is 90, otherwise we can take any height which is just even number. So, we can make it half. Now, here h is 90. So, at the same time we will shift this gate from the n to n plus 1 and we will read the height of the n plus 1. So here H1 is 50. value of the H1 is 53, this is H1. So we will read H1 is 53. Now we will come back to the previous 
echo that is the n and we will make it half by decreasing the gain so now we will make it half so it will reduce up to the 45 previously it was 90 now it we will make it half so now it is 45 now we will read the amplitude of the n plus 1 echo so it is 26 here s2 is 26 as per formula we have to place the h1 that is 53 s2 that is 26 means 53 minus 2 into 26 52 divided by h1 53 into 100 so we will make 53 minus 52 divided by 53 into 100 means 100 divided by 53 that is equal to about 1.8 limitation is plus minus 3% for digital machine plus minus 5% for ana log machine so our h1 value is 53 s2 is 26 and as per formula h1 minus 2s2 divided by h1 into 100 here 53 minus 2s2 means 2 into 26 52 Divided by h1, 53 into 100, and 100 divided by 53. So this is the deviation, and this is the linearity of amplification value. Permitted value is plus minus 3 percent for the digital machine, and plus minus 5 percent for the analog machine. So like that, we have to take three readings, and we have to make the average of that three, and it should be under the limit. If it is beyond the limit. we cannot rectify it it should be sent to the original equipment manufacturer so this is the process of the checking of the linearity of amplification okay